Let's dig into some more Buffer Shuffler 2 features. Check out the arrows that are available for the left and right slices and the six effect parameters. Using the arrows, you can rotate your patterns. You can also use the up and down arrow keys to roll the pattern around. To the right of the arrows, you can see the buttons for auto, dice and a menu. Dice has a bunch of modes which are accessed via the menu. Let's check out Permute. Permute keeps all of the values and reorders them. Permute is great for subtle changes which move but aren't completely random. The reset button here gets everything back to default. If we turn auto on then we get the current dice function triggered at the start of every sequence. Each effect channel has a range of possibilities that you can fine tune, allowing fine control over the grid pattern or more extreme changes. We can run our channels separately with this toggle turned off. You can also auto dice and reset the slices with the A, D and R toggle boxes over here. These buttons alter the playback direction and muting of the individual slices. We've also got a smooth function. This function lets you smooth the transition between each step. Be sure to check out more of our Buffer Shuffler 2.0 videos for more advanced techniques.